hey folks welcome back to evie's gallery this is your host shihab i hope you guys are doing very well if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to our channel as your support means a lot to us so today i'm going to talk about tesla tesla stands to earn as much as three billion dollar by 2030 thanks to deals with ford motor corporation and general motors for their electric vehicles to use its charging network according to piper sandler and co elon musk led ev company announced the latest deal thursday in a twitter space audio chat alongside gm ceo mary barra it was barra's first appearance on the social media site since Musk completed his purchase of Twitter last year. Ford CEO Jim Furley announced its deal with Tesla in a similar arrangement in May. The deal which now make Tesla's charging model the standard in the US along the largest American automakers will pressure competitors to ditch the primary competition competing standard known as CCS. Other brands will be forced to join this consortium effectively establishing Tesla's North American charging standard as the preferred approach for EV charging at least in the United States, Piper Sandler analyst Alex Potter said in Research Note Friday. Details on revenue were not released by the company, but Piper Sandler estimates that Tesla could add upwards of $3 billion in charging revenue from non-Tesla owners loaned by 2030 and 5.4 billion by 2032. The charging shares of Tesla were up 5.4 percent at 11:25 a.m. in New York on Friday. GM also traded up 1.8 percent. That charging windfall may not seem huge for Tesla, which already boasts revenue in excess of 80 billion dollars a year. But Tesla's U.S. competitors are all racing to catch up in the EV race, and it could affect their margins while Tesla bring income from their customers. GM and Ford both say their EV programs are unprofitable and won't be for at least another year. Adding charging revenue will only help Tesla in the same way that it brought in billions, selling zero emission regularity credit to legacy automakers over the past decade. Those credit sales helped fund the company's surge in recent years. So all for today please let us know what you think about about today's news and do subscribe to our channel have a nice day